Today's tutorial is for If the World Was Ending by J.P. Sachs featuring Julia Michaels. The song structure for this song is going to be verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then another verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then one more pre-chorus and one more chorus. So pretty standard, nothing too surprising here. That's going to be broken down into three guitar parts, the part playing the verse, part playing the pre-chorus, and the part playing the chorus. They're all pretty straightforward, but I'm going to walk you through them one by one here, and by the end of this, you'll be able to play the entire song. Remember, you can follow along with chords and lyrics in the description below this video. So let's get started with the part played in the verse, and that's going to start with the lyrics, I was distracted and in traffic. This one's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to play nice, easy down strums held for four beats, and then just switch between a bunch of different chords. Nice and easy, play it softly to make sure to mimic the nice, soft feeling of the actual song, and it should sound really nice. We're going to switch between C, D minor, F, G, C, and then end on an A minor. And you're just going to play each of these for four beats before switching. And remember to play them nice and soft and easy. If you're still new to guitar, you're going to want to start with my free beginner course and then come back to this video afterwards. And for everyone else, let's try out this chord pattern. Now you can play just the single strums. But I like to add in a nice soft pick of the highest note of each chord on beat three. I find that just kind of adds a little bit to the chord progression, makes it sound a little bit nicer, and just adds that little zazz that you don't get with just the single chords. So all together, that's... That part can be played in the verses. Now the pre-chorus part where it starts with, and I know, you know, we know, you aren't down for forever, and that's fine. We're gonna play single strums just a little bit faster on a minor, G, C, C, and then hold an F. And one thing I like to do to make this part more interesting is start really softly on the A minor, and then gradually build up volume to the second C and then play that final F really, really softly again. So all together, that's gonna to sound like this. And you can hopefully hear that volume change, which just kinda of helps follow the build of the song until that really soft F chord which gives a lot more motion and expression to your guitar playing. And that's all we need to play the pre-chorus. Now moving to the final section of the song, which is the chorus, and that's with the lyrics, and if the world was ending, you'd come over right. So then starting on an F, our strumming pattern is gonna be one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. And we're gonna switch between an F, a G, a C, and an A minor. And if you can play those three parts, then you can play the entire song. This one's a good example of something that's nice and simple and easy, but still sounds really good. It doesn't always have to have all the fancy strumming to sound really nice. Sometimes just a really simple, smooth guitar is all that you need to make it sound really good. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified of all the new videos that I post. With that, I'll see you in the next 5-Minute Guitar Lesson.